all this noise look at all this noise that these people are making holy crap oh good 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 let's go that's too much holy man This guy is a crazy guy, Toronto two wheelers, go! He guns it like there's no tomorrow. Oh, look at the wheelies! Eventually, you're gonna get stuck in a red light and... Hello, how are you today? Hope you're enjoying... Hope you're enjoying all the noise that we're doing! Hope you're enjoying all the noise we're doing! <laughs> Obviously he is, because he can't even hear me. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Sultani. Sultani CBR. Oh, that suits you. Ah, oh, boy. That's a messed up ride. Look at everybody. It's like we're having up to four bikes in one lane. Holy crap. <laughs> Let me get that on video. <laughs> it gets into the car's lane. Oh fuck, that's too much tension. Let's talk about tickets while we're at it. And uh, this is at uh, this interesting ride. Uh, let's talk about how handling tickets and what should you do when. Uh, when stopped by a police officer. First, don't do what we're doing right here because that's gonna get you stopped. Just, um, just ride safely. Don't even be crazy on the streets. And uh, if you ever do, I mean, sometimes I do overspeed by mistake. Um, you know, not paying attention to the uh, speed of the road or something like that. If you ever get pulled over by a cop and uh, you know that it was your mistake, uh, you have two options. The first option never worked for me. I have yet to make uh, an officer laugh and uh, forgive me for my sins. Usually they're... Uh... Oh, really? So, um, what are we doing here? So, um, if you ever get pulled over by a cop and uh, you fail to, um, you know, make him laugh or, uh, or you know, at least uh, get him to understand your standpoint, then, uh, then the other option is, uh, dude, just don't say shit. Just get your ticket and leave because uh, if you ever talk or like, I don't know, try to explain yourself and then you start getting into uh, how fast you were going or how you did this and you feel bad about it, then he's just gonna put it down in your report. And that's, um, you know, when you get that to the, uh, to the court on your court date, then it's evidence against you. So whatever you say, or whatever you want to say, don't say it. Don't uh, try not to uh, try not to explain yourself, especially if the cop is mad at you or something like that. You know, they you kind of you kind of can tell when he comes off the car um, if he's gonna give you a ticket or not. Once you believe that he's definitely gonna give you a ticket, then just don't um, don't say shit because that's gonna go in his uh, disclosure form and that's gonna be evidence against you. 
and it's gonna be too hard to fight especially you know if you're fighting it yourself or if you're uh, even if you're giving it to a paralegal or a lawyer it's gonna be hard for him to uh, fight it um, but yeah make sure make sure that you don't say shit or uh, don't even apologize for for what you've done worst come to worst just deny because if he has no evidence against you then uh, your case is more likely to be dismissed I've got stopped by a cop uh, once um, after like uh, well the first the first time I got stopped by a cop uh, he stopped me he said uh, you were talking on the phone I'm like it was the first time I was like no I wasn't and uh, whatever he's like uh, <clears throat> yeah I've seen you and then uh, he asks me there was a phone on, on my side he asks what kind of phone is that so I told him I told him what what kind of phone was that then when I went on to uh, fight my case is this guy trying to pop a wheel or something when uh, when I was uh, fighting it in his disclosure form he had written that uh, I was talking on the phone and he was able to identify the phone as a uh, as a as an LG phone I'm like you can never identify a phone you know if someone is passing through you but then again my lack of experience in this case uh, led me to uh, just give in to the case another uh, example of um, of how uh, cops try to get you uh, to admit your fault is uh, I was um, once stopped by a cop and uh, I wasn't speeding uh, he stops me and he's like uh, oh you were speeding am I filming? Um, you want to film? alright uh, and then he stops me he's like you were speeding and I told him the truth I wasn't speeding and I'm like no I wasn't speeding I actually was on the first gear so my bike was screaming and I was going 50 uh, 60 um, so he's like okay he takes my information and I go to his car comes out with two tickets none of them is speeding one was uh, unsafe lane change and the other one is improper left turn I'm like but I didn't do these They're like yeah well go fight it in court I'm like okay uh, it's funny man if you're not recording them they can get you whatever bullshit they want you know unsafe lane change is the least that they can do and uh, so I, I'm like okay I give it to my lawyer and he got it off the key was I didn't really speak to him I never really said anything he's like oh you're getting these tickets I'm like okay thank you I took it and uh, went on my way and the tickets were totally uh, written off so my suggestion is if you ever get stopped by a cop just don't say anything and uh, if he gives you a ticket be like thank you sir take it and go fight it in court i would suggest that you don't fight it yourself because you don't know the loopholes of the law so just give it to a uh, nice decent paralegal make sure that the paralegal is actually decent the first paralegal uh, who uh, was taking my f cell phone case didn't do shit i actually went to the um, uh, let's give out his name. His name was Joe Blaha. Don't ever take that guy. Never. I went to the court. He actually didn't show up. He sent a guy uh, to take on the court to take on my case in the court. And his name was uh, something Armstrong. That guy didn't even know my case. And he was asking me, "Oh, what was your case about?" And I'm like, "Wow, you guys didn't even get the officer disclosure form." interesting and uh, we went to the court and he basically represented me and not and nothing happened so I eventually got the ticket because this guy he told me that now that you got your ticket it's easier to fight it in the Supreme Court like it's easier to appeal it that's another $500 I'm like 
fuck you, I'm not paying you that much. And I ended up paying that ticket as well as Joey Blaha's, um, what do you call it? Joey Blaha's uh, fees. And without, with zero, uh, not, he didn't even, he didn't even, uh, you know, ask for the disclosure he just got the money and sent someone who probably he paid him like uh i don't know 50 or 100 bucks because he was i guess too busy to come for my case so yeah try not to talk as much if the officer is going to give you a ticket he's going to give you a ticket anyways uh, just make sure that uh you don't you, you don't say shit and uh <laughs> this guy <laughs> And uh, yeah, take it to court and fight it. That if you uh, you know you've made a mistake and, uh, and and got caught. But in any case, guys, just drive safely and uh, don't be crazy on the streets. Abide by the uh, street laws because it's made for your safety. And you know, there's no point of speeding in in the uh, in the city or in the highway where it's very dangerous. You want to speed take your bike to the track and blah blah or speed at your own risk <laughs> thank you guys don't do that <laughs> <laughs>